Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I got a treat for you today. This beautiful 1967 Camaro is one of my favorites. It has been in here in a while. It's got a 540 cubic inch yet. You heard me right. 540, 650 horse. Look at this paint. Can't barely feel the stripes under the clear. Um, beautiful chrome bumper, grill up front. It's got the chin spoiler. And let me tell you, if you got a black car and it's not perfectly straight, you're going to look nasty. And this one is absolutely poker straight. Remember, at Vanguard, we're non-consignment. So when we're buying a car, we make sure of all this. Check out how beautiful it is, the lines, the gaps, absolutely beautiful. Love the black and white. And then you got the black and white interior on top of it. The gentleman put in a, that restored it, put in a uh, horseshoe shifter, which isn't correct for this year, but that's what he liked, and I love it. LED lighting inside. Um, the gauges glow blue. I'm going to do it in here before I dry, because otherwise you won't be able to see it. He even did the, uh, the, the head unit for the system for the heat and everything. He even has that turning blue. The Prindle's blue, absolutely sweet. You can tell when somebody put their heart and soul in a car. Sitting on a nice set of BF Goodrich fatties, four wheel wild wood disc. It doesn't get better than that. All the rear tail lighting bezel, Bumpers in awesome shape. Looks like it's all new, actually. Check out the trunk. It's got dyno mat in it. Keep the sound down. Crispy trunk lips. Trunk jam is beautiful. Let's go down the passenger side now. Same beauty as the driver's side. Very, very nice lines. Well put together car. Remember, you can always visit our website at vanguardmotorsales.com and you can see over 100 pictures of this car and all our other cars in pricing. My name is Tom. I'm available seven days a week at 248 974 9513. Give me a call. I can help you with financing, transportation. We can put it all together and park this beauty in your driveway. All right, guys, let's go for a ride in the 67 Camaro. Woo! This one's a beast. It's got a uh, 540 cubic inch motor. No expenses spared on this baby. From pulley systems, serpentine belts, uh, four-wheel disc brakes, power steering, upgraded 400 turbo hydromatic trans. This thing is a beast. The black paint is to die for. It's absolutely gorgeous. Remember, at Vanguard, we're non-consignment. So every car in here has been inspected by us, and we deemed it very high quality to be part of our inventory. Check out all the gauges. They did like an aftermarket setup. Looks absolutely, it's like a carbon fiber area right here with carbon fiber face dash, uh, with gauges rather. You got an RPM, Speedo. Down here we got our bolts, oil, water, fuel, um, aftermarket radio, kind of looks uh, retro. And uh, yeah, very, very well done. The dash is beautiful. Can't find any flaws inside that I uh, can even talk about, or outside for that matter. 
if you ever wanted to come visit us, we are located in Plymouth, Michigan. You would fly right into uh, Detroit Metro Airport, and we're about 30 minutes north of there. This is definitely a ground pounder. It's pushing uh, 660 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. If you want to see about 100 pictures of this, visit our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can see about 100 pictures as well as um, the video link will be in there as well. And pricing. We're going to bring this back to the shop now here. We're going to get it up on the rack and show you just how beautiful it is underneath as well. Not only do we care about the quality on top, definitely care about the quality on the bottom. Okay guys, this is the underside of our sporty uh, little 67 Camaro. So, first thing that's going to stand out to me is we do have a uh, aftermarket, looks to be like a stainless steel fuel tank in it. It does have the isolator straps in it. Um, now, the leaf springs on this car, they do look to be new, but in addition to that, I can see that the uh, previous owner put upgraded uh, leaf spring shackles in it, and it looks like poly, poly, excuse me, polyurethane uh, bushings in it. And you're going to see polyurethane on just about everything that you're going to see on this car going forward. So once again, our isolator pads here, once again, are polyurethane. Um, now, as far as the rear end goes here, you can see this doesn't look like a GM 10 bolt or 12 bolt. This is actually a Curry uh, fabricated Ford 9 inch housing with a Ford 9 inch center section here. Um, three, if I'm not mistaken, 370 to one uh, gear ratio. Uh, now it is, of course, like a Detroit True Track style um, posi unit in it. We got Willwood disc brakes on either end of it, uh, stainless uh, hard lines feeding everything, uh, stainless flex on uh, either side of our, uh, there where the calipers hook up to it. Once again, um, polyurethane bushings on our rear sway bar, uh, polyurethane bushings here as well. Um, now the car does have like an undercoat job on it, and you can see that they did when they, uh, when they did all the metal work on it here. And uh, speaking of metal work, you can see that we actually have uh, subframe connectors added to this car. This is always a good, t good idea when you put a really sporty engine in one of these. Um, and this just helps kind of stiffen the whole car up and they did a very nice job with this one. It almost looks factory. They tied it into the floorboard really nice overall. They get a thumbs up uh, from me for that. Um, as far as our transmissions go, this is a Turbo 400, one of the stronger uh, GM units here. Now this one of course has been rebuilt. I can't give you a year on it. The tag has been removed. But uh, of course it's performance built transmission. I can tell, I've looked inside of this uh, little cover here and I can tell you that it's got an aftermarket little little tiny converter in it so it definitely has an aftermarket stall in it, polyurethane mount on it as well. Um, oh, exhaust system, I didn't even go into the exhaust system. We have three inch pipe all the way back, Flowmaster mufflers with the uh, X pipe back here. A uh, big old set of full length headers on it. Um, this is the underside of our big block Chevy here. Now this is actually a uh, big M block from Dart. So uh, aftermarket engine block and that's always a good idea when you're making this kind of power level. So this, they spent some big money on this uh, engine. On the Rosso T sump oil pan, we got a mini or a uh, ultra torque starter over here, aftermarket starter. Um, looks like the suspension, uh, suspension and steering, of course, have all been gone through. Everything looks to be a very recent addition. Uh, factory GM disc brakes in the front. You can see they got all new uh, dust plates and all that sort of stuff on it. Bilstein shacks on all four corners. Um, as far as the sway bar goes, we have an aftermarket upgrade sway bar. Once again, aftermarket bushings feeding everything. We have polyurethane bushings even in the control arms here. I mean, all this stuff has been replaced. Um, I guess uh, this underside of our radiator poking out here. I'm going to get into the, oh, the engine when I get up underneath the hood. We'll save all that for that point there. So as far as tires go, 215-65 R15, BF Goodrich Radial TA, Krager SS, and for the DOT code, once again, 2020, brand new tire. Uh, if we come to the back, obviously it's going to have a little bit of a rake on it, so we're going to have 255-60 R15s back here. Um, 2020, 20, yeah, 2020 date code on it. Once again, Krager SS, and we can see a little bit of our Willwood caliper poking out from inside there. So, that all being said, let's go take a look at the 540 Stroker big block Chevy under the hood. Okay, guys, so this is what the frame ties under the car are all about. So this is going to be a 540 excuse me, cubic inch big block Chevy. That is going to be like a Stroker motor. Now, as you heard me say underneath, this is a Dart Big M block, which is an aftermarket high performance engine block. Um, for cylinder heads, we also have a Dart product on it, Pro One aluminum cylinder heads. Now I've actually taken a valve cover off of this engine to kind of inspect uh, what the internals are. We do have a hydraulic roller uh, 
like the retrofit link bar style roller camshaft in it. Um, now we have a 5 16 uh, rocker studs. We have a set of a 1.7 ratio full roller rockers on it as well. Um, so definitely an upgraded valve train. Um, as far as our, I guess, what, what, what's the next thing I want to go for here? We'll go to the, the induction system here. So we have a uh, Victor, uh, Victor Junior intake manifold. This is a single plane intake manifold. Um, and on top of that, we got us a quick fuel carburetor here. This is going to be a uh, obviously a four barrel. We got vacuum, excuse me, mechanical secondaries on it. Down leg booster, screw in air bleeds. Uh, pretty tunable. It does have an electric choke on it. Um, I would say I, this is not stamped for a CFM rating, but my guess is going to be somewhere north of us uh, 750, probably more like 850 would be about right for this car. Overall, that's a pretty nice piece. Billet metering box, four corner idle, very nice. Um, as far as, I'll just set this right here. As far as uh, this uh, throttle return linkage here, like the thing that actually holds all of our throttle set up here, these aren't cheap. Actually, it's a trick flow, trick flow unit, very, very nice. And you can also see more money that got spent here. This here is not cheap. Uh, this is all AN line here, feeding our uh, upper radiator hose, CBR, uh, uh, what would this be, uh, thermostat housing, of course, all, even like our heater hose lines are all AN and uh, braided stainless here, same thing, or excuse me, braided uh, nylon, same thing with our fuel system over here. It's got a quick fuel fuel pump down there, a high performance mechanical unit. Um, ignition system, we have a MSD Pro Billet distributor, uh, blaster three coil. I have not found the ignition box, but this is the type of distributor that does run the ignition box. Um, it, you heard me say underneath here that we do have a set of full length headers on it. We got uh, polyurethane bushings up here, no big surprise. The front and rest of the engine is a March setup. Of course, this is going to be a serpentine pulley setup, and they spent the big money on this one. This is the one that has the billet, uh, both the billet alternator case and power steering pump case as well. Um, our Water pump is going to be an Edelbrock cast unit here, so a high performance water pump as well. Champion radiator, we got twin puller fans on it. Uh, and then outside of that, we just got all the normal hot rod goodies. We got power brakes, of course, you already heard me say power steering. Even like the uh, power steering lines are braided stainless on this, of course, stainless lines up here feeding the brake system. And then um, outside of that, the cleanliness of the interface should kind of speak for itself. Overall, pretty nice little hot rod car. Uh, this is one that uh, quite a bit, quite fun to drive. So if you'd like to have this one in the make sure to call Sound. Hello, my Vanguard Motorcycle Park District, or excuse me, Camaro in your driveway. We'll see you in the next.